Town Elementary School will soon breathe new life into a North Little Rock community. The Rose City Elementary has been closed for decades, but it was recently purchased by two people who want to turn it into a community center. It's part of a larger push to now bring that area out of poverty and crime. Claire Kreitz takes a look at the school and how much is needed to repair it and how much joy it's going to bring to the community. Claire? Yeah, Bob, it definitely needs some work. It needs a new roof and it definitely needs some work on the inside. Now, this building used to be a place where it shaped the young minds of kids in Rose City. It even has a pretty famous alum, Jerry Jones. But now it needs some TLC and two Rose City natives are pushing to restore it to a similar but new purpose. This is my heart. This is where I learned um, how to be me. As Pastor Ryan Summons walks through the halls of his elementary school, the doors are a portal to when he was staring at the chalkboard. Miss Van Clee was my teacher. Summons and his business partner now own the old school. I actually come into this building over 20 years ago and received my GED. Keisha Cobb says that moment shifted her life in a new direction. I'm proud to say that. Both Cobb and Summons want this building to serve the same purpose for the next generation. This place can be a benefit to those who are left out in the cold, who need food, who are struggling, who even need someone just to talk to. From the cafeteria. Be giving away food uh, for those who are less fortunate to the classrooms. Provide them with some training and some resources where they can go get jobs. They see the potential of this schoolhouse, even through the chipped paint and rotted wood. There's a lot of work to be done. They hope to make it a place that not only changes lives, but the community. And I think that if we band together and start changing the narrative of how the stigma is now, our children's children can take pride in growing up in a place called Rose City. Now they've had several work days where volunteers come help paint and do repairs. They hope to have everything done and be open by November. Reporting live in North Little Rock, I'm Claire Kreitz. Back to you.